Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let me show you how to merge folders in Lion. So Lion allows you to merge the contents of two folders. It also does something a little different if you try to copy a file into a location where a file of that name already exists. Let's take a look. So here I have two different locations on my hard drive, folder 1 and folder 2. In each one is a folder called text files. I look in here, I've got three te test files, 1, 2, and 3. And I have three test files here as well. They have different names, 4, 5, and 6. So what happens if I try to copy this folder into this location? They both have the same name so they both can't exist there. Well, if I try to do a straight copy, I simply get the option whether I want to replace that or just not do anything, which is the same as it's always been. So you don't want to delete what's there. You want to actually merge the two together. So you, the key is to hold down the Option key, then drag it there to make a copy. Once I do that, I get this dialog box, which allows me to either stop or replace the folder or merge them together. If I select Merge, I still have one folder, and if I look inside it, I can see all six files are there now. Now the same will happen if I try to copy and paste. So if I select this and Command C, go over here and Command V, I will get the same merge option as when I option drag. Now this is basically the same as if I would go into here, select all the files and then drag them in. I get the same results. Now what happens if I go to this other location and I have another folder here. This one also has some text files in it. This one has three that are the same name as the ones here. So I have three files of the same name. So what happens if I were to try to copy these into here? I get the option to replace the files, of course, not do anything, or keep both files. And I can apply that to all. If I keep both files and I look in here, I can see I've got my originals that were in the folder. And I also have the three new ones and it appends the word copy to each of those. Now I have actually all six individual files there. Just the new ones have been renamed so they can coexist with the originals. Now notice one idiosyncrasy here. I have this folder here and it's got the same names as what's in there. And I try to do the merge as before. So I just put it in the same location, hold down the Option key. I don't get the merge option there because it can't merge those folders without renaming files, which is kind of two steps. So it just doesn't let you do it at all. So you have to actually dig into here, select all of these, and move them into this folder. So you still have the danger of actually deleting an entire folder of files with another folder if you drag and drop it without holding the Option key. One of the habits I've gotten into over the years, if I'm going to do something like that, like say I copy some files from my Mac Pro to my MacBook Air. I work on them on my MacBook Air and I want to copy them back to the Mac Pro. I could just replace the folder full of files on the Mac Pro. But that deletes them and doesn't put them in the trash. They're gone. So one of the habits I've got into is simply to throw away the original folder on the Mac Pro so it's in the trash, then copy the files from the other Mac onto the Mac Pro. It replaces them but I have the old versions now in the trash in case a few seconds later I realize I've made a mistake. I hope you found this all useful. Until next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.